Hi everyone, welcome to Understand Heart, where we learn about anything and everything heart related. Today, we'll be covering a brief overview of the anatomy and physiology of the heart. These are the timestamps of the topics I'm covering, so let's get started. The heart is a major component of the cardiovascular system and alongside with the blood vessels, it plays a vital role in transporting blood around the body. The heart is made up of three main layers of tissues, namely the pericardium, the myocardium and the endocardium. The pericardium is a thin outer lining which surrounds the heart. The myocardium is the muscle layer which is made up of specialised cardiac myocytes and lastly, the endocardium, which lines the inner chambers of the heart. The heart is divided into the four main chambers, split into the left and right by the septum and atrioventricles by the atrioventricular valves. The flow of the blood is as follows. The right atrium receives deoxygenated blood from the body to the vena cava and pumps it across the tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. The blood is then transported into the lungs for oxygenation across the pulmonary valve via the pulmonary arteries. Once the blood becomes oxygenated, the left atrium receives it from the lungs via the pulmonary veins. It pumps the blood across the mitral valve into the left ventricle, which delivers blood to the rest of the body via the aorta across the aortic valve, and the cycle repeats. This forms the circulatory system of the body. Let's focus a little on the left ventricle. The left ventricle is in charge of the main pumping action and is shaped like an ice cream cone. It is divided into different segments determined by the distribution of the coronary artery. The first division brings about the basal, mid and apical segments. Within each segment, the walls are further divided into septum, anterior, lateral, posterior and inferior wall going clockwise from the septum. The region is also denoted by different ECG leads, only 12 lead ECG. The heart is controlled by a conduction system which starts with the sinoatrial node located in the right atrium which initiates the depolarization and subsequent contraction of the myocytes. This is denoted by the P wave on the ECG and represents atrial contraction. The wave of depolarization moves across the atria to the atrioventricular node denoted by the PR interval. After a short delay to allow complete contraction of the atria, the atrioventricular node depolarizes and sends the action potential down into the bundle of His, followed by the left and right bundle before reaching the Purkinje fibers which will depolarize the ventricles causing contraction represented by the QRS complex. This is then followed by the T wave, which represents the repolarization of the ventricles, where the ventricles relax. The cycle is then repeated from the sinoatrial node for the next heartbeat. Last but not least, the myocytes are supplied by a network of coronary arteries arising from the aorta. The coronary is divided into left and right coronary system with the right coronary artery or RCA arising from the right cusp of the aortic valve and the left from the left coronary cusps. The right coronary artery propagates along the heart, branching out into smaller arteries. Apart from supplying the right ventricle, in the majority, the right coronary artery provides the posterior descending artery, supplying the left ventricular, posterior and inferior walls. The left coronary system starts out as the left main coronary artery or the left main stem. It then bifurcates into two big branches which are the left anterior descending artery and the left circumflex artery. The LAD supplies mainly the anterior wall of the left ventricle and the circumflex the lateral wall. The left coronary system supplies the majority of the left ventricle and that is why occlusion of the left main stem can have disastrous impact on the heart function. In summary, the heart is a muscular pump separated into the left and right by the septa, atria and ventricle by the valves which also controls the direction of blood flow, controlled by a conduction system 
and supplied by a network of coronary arteries. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. I will be posting videos twice a week so hit the bell icon to be notified. Please comment below if there are any particular topics that you would like me to cover and I will try my best to do it. If you would like to get in touch, please email me or DM me on my social media platform. Thank you for watching!